uh, hey guys, welcome back to, uh, Ratchet Clank. I'm back here at the, uh, um, Ultra Nanotech vendor. I'm gonna grab these and get the Ultra Nanotech. I'm pretty sure you can get both in um, this run. There we go, Ultra Nanotech for 30,000 bolts. Uh, okay, where is it? It should... Okay, I have to press triangle again. Purchase Ultra Nanotech. There you go, you got the Ultra Nanotech. Uh, let's see, your health. Yep, gave us... Uh, three more. Uh, it gives us three uh, new lives. Alright, um, I'm done. Uh, well, I forgot to mention that... Um, uh, not all of the gadgets carry over, so... When I get another gadget... Um, there's, when you get a new, that gadget, like, uh, the Trespasser, Hydro Displacer and all that, it'll say you got the Trespasser again. I will show that off when I get the, uh, next, um, of these gadgets. Uh, what's, I forgot what these two are. Oh, I, I will record when I, uh, yeah, get up to when you get the next one, which is the Morpho Ray, I'm pretty sure. Okay, yeah. Alright, I'll see you then. Uh, hey guys, um... Sorry about these videos, having this weird squeaking thing going on. For some reason, my, uh... Mike decided to... Do this. I... Uh, I don't know what happened with my mic and OBS. I don't know which one caused the issue, and, or what, but after these couple of videos, uh, they will fix, um, this is mainly just, uh, backtracking through the level, oh yeah, that you, the reason I showed this off is because of the, uh, Gadgetron PDA, getting that again, getting some of the gadgets again, we'll have this, uh, new, um, box called, uh, Gadgetron PDA, you got the Gadgetron PDA again, Okay, and this is the, uh, getting the Rhino from the dealer. Oh, that is really mean. Clank was only trying to be nice. <laughs> he was so scared. Alright, um, yeah, that's the, uh, the Rhino. What was I saying before? Um, yeah, it's weird. Um, I don't know what the hell was causing the, uh, what they caused this issue, the squeaking. Hopefully, I'm able to talk loud enough. Got the, uh, mic audio up enough to, uh, so it, like, is louder than the actual squeaking, so you can't notice the squeaking much. Yeah, I, I don't have the editing type skills to be able to get rid of the squeaking. I don't know what the hell happened to it. Alright, uh, this is when I'm showing off the uh, animations for the uh, all the weapons. For the, um, yeah. Because since I got every single weapon in the game, I thought I'd show all this off. Oh my god, this squeaking is irritating. And yeah, that's this is the mind glove. I don't know how he's able to keep that on his hand without exploding. And here's the uh, Taunter, which is one of the most uh, useless invent useless weapons in the game. Suck Cannon, which carried over, I think, to the... 
Maybe the second or only the third. I definitely know it's in the third. Here's the uh, Devastator. And the Walloper. Uh, the Vizzy Bomb Gun. Uh, the uh, decoy glove. <laughs> that that is really that is pretty cool. Whoa! Oh, that hurt my eyes. Um, this one has like a little bug. The drone device. It uh, when you click it, um, it automatically activates. So they uh, fly around your body when you're like exploring and shit. But yeah. It, the bug, it, like, in this, these things even stay on the animations screen. So when you're looking, when I show you these last uh, three weapons, they will still be on the screen and clip through those weapons, which is a bit annoying. Yeah, he's the uh, Tesla Claw. Uh, the Morpho Ray. It's a pretty cool weapon. This one carried over, It, I think it uh, turned... I think the s sequel, they turn into ducks instead. And there's the Rhino. It's, yeah, it's weird, because, like, he has trouble lifting that on the animation, but when you're actually I playing the game, um, he carries it fine and able to fire it properly. There's a Trespasser, and here's a Hydro Displacer. The Swing Shot. Yeah, it's clipping through his glove there. I only just noticed that. Uh, the Gazatron PDA. So you never notice it clipping through his glove in the actual game, so that's why I never really paid attention. Uh, metal Detector. And the Hollow Guys. Oh, he's a light aren't flashing. And now the back, uh, backpacks. The uh, Halapack. Which is the other one that has like an animation thing like this. The thruster pack and the hydro pack are just like kind of static. They don't really show what they do in the, in the animation. They just stay there. So I don't understand. Yeah, I don't really get why it. They didn't really do animations for them. Which is pretty upsetting. Uh, there's the O2 mask. This is pretty cool. This Sonic Summoner. Just a weird pose. I don't understand what it's supposed to be. Uh, the pilot's. This is the pilot's helmet. The grind boots. <laughs> this is a pretty cool animation. And the Magna boots. And there we go. There's, I'd notice the post, the boost jump clipped through there on the animation. Okay, uh, that's it for the uh, weapons and gadgets. All right, so I didn't do the items yet because uh, I did. I think I did that last. Um, this is the. This is when I show you um, killing, destroying Chairman Drek with the uh, Rhino. And if you see, like I, I found out what the. Uh, um, the thing on the bottom right of the screen is that's an achievement. It wasn't a bug. Um, what you have to do to unlock it is, um, yeah, go through the entire level without dying. You also have to not die during um, that little part there with a uh, giant clank and uh, Drek. Okay, this is when I equipped the uh, Rhino. I took out the bomb glove. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, bomb glove. Yeah, always make sure to equip the swing shot during this part. You, you'll probably see why uh, in, right after the, this um, section. Because I was an idiot. And it look, look at it rip, rips through his entire health. It's just really cool. The missiles even lock on as well, so it's impossible for enemies to get away from them. And yeah, this little part is when I died. I was 
trying to show you the uh, what the ammo pickups look like, but for the Rhino, you can't do that. Um, oh, it might, must be this next section. But yeah, you you can't uh, you can't get ammo pickups for the Rhino. The only way to get ammo for the Rhino is go to a Gadgetron vendor or the gadget, use the Gadgetron PDA. Um, that's yeah, the only two, yeah, only ways to um, get ammo for it. So I think it'd make it too easy to get ammo if they did do that. The Rhino is already way more OP than it, it needs to be, really. So yeah, they uh, removed that ability. So yeah, um... This is what I'm searching. Uh, I do end up showing you what the uh, ammo looks like for the Rhino eventually. Um, after this, I do. Um, yeah, this is when I found out, and I didn't. I forgot to equip the uh, swing shot before I jumped on this. Um, so I, yeah, I died. I, I couldn't um, bring out the uh, swing shot in time, and yeah, it didn't. I was too far. I was too low to uh, for it to lock on. So I. Yeah, did a, uh, I edited, I edited it in when I got back up to here. I nearly forgot to start recording again, so that's why I was already, um, I was paused and jumping across the, uh, thing. Yeah, this is the final part of, uh, Drax fight. And yeah, th this is really cool, because, um, since the, uh, Rhino locks on, um, you can um, shoot in front of you, and um, the rockets will go behind you to go after Drek, which is yeah, it's really cool. I'm not exactly sure how much rockets the uh, Rhino shoots at once. Uh, see, oh, nine. Huh, okay. Um, yeah, this annoying thing is since it locks on enemies, it sometimes locks onto those, uh, mines as well. Oh, embarrassing, I missed. And there we go, this is, yeah, I, I have to go to the PDA to uh, get some more ammo, because I, uh, I died, so I ran out, which caused me to run out of ammo. Well, it, it's usually 20 bolts, but with the PDA, it puts it up to 50. That's, yeah, it's not too bad, but it's still not really good either, because normally they're 20, and that's way more than any of the other uh, ammo in the game. And there we go, killed him. And that's the uh, Drak boss fight. Defeating him with a rhino. <laughs> oh, that's always funny. You scream. And this is when I show you the uh, new... The thing changes when you beat New Game Plus for the first time. So I thought I'd show this off. Luckily it uh, uh, replays... Yeah, I'm lucky that uh, it replays because I accident I didn't realize that it um, changes the first time, so I kind of missed it. So I, I recorded as fast as I can before it uh, replayed. So uh, yeah, <coughs> luckily that it uh, replays. Yeah, this is when I uh, go and start a new game to uh, get the uh, gold weapons. And I, did, I forgot to show, show it off the first time, but uh, when you do New Game Plus for the first time, this uh, new teleporter appears on planet uh, Novalis. Um, and yeah, this is when I cut to show you, because I forgot that it starts you on Valden. Alright, um, it's the teleporter's right here. It teleports you to the gold weapons room, which is extremely different to the one at it's different to Drek's ship because they 
they don't have the jumping thing for you to jump back down. They just have the uh, tiny room. They kind of change the model a little bit. So you wouldn't accidentally um, jump down. And in case you didn't get any of the gadgets or anything and rest of the weapons, you, you wouldn't fall down and just die because you didn't have the proper stuff. And if you see the Persuader, it ended up fixing. Um, it's now animated, so yeah, it is on the PS2. I must have had a little bug that appeared when um, uh, I first got it. So now it's uh, animated. So yeah, you could probably put, yeah, you can see it right now. Kind of, yeah. It's animated. I'm not sure what the hell happened. And yeah, the uh, bolt grabber is now animated as well, which is pretty cool. And yeah, this is uh, when I show you get the uh, Rhino again. Um, you don't have to pay 150,000 bolts. And this is when I got really scared because the cutscene loops the twice. I thought the game was going to soft lock on me. And that's another bug that's apparently in the game that Insomniac didn't realize. Um, that happens with New Game Plus and getting the Rhino again. So, it's not a bad bug, it doesn't affect your game or anything, it just scares you. It doesn't soft lock the game, thankfully. Oh, I'm so happy that it doesn't. Um, this is, yeah, I got uh, a lot of bolts to get the gold weapons. I realise that I don't have enough. You need another 80,000, and yeah, that's another little bug I had. The, uh, in New Game Plus... For me, the Quark's health didn't appear, so I uh, I didn't know how close I was to killing him. So that's why it appeared for like a second there. Um, and yeah, you need another eighty thousand bolts on top of this, top of one hundred and seventy-seven. So you need like two hundred thirty thousand or whatever. Um, I'm probably completely wrong. There's the uh, Tesla Claw. The uh, Zappy line thing is green. There's a bomb glove. The explosion is a lot bigger than the normal one, which is really cool. There's a devastator, 60,000 for and four bolts. I'm pretty sure the other two were the exact same amount. Oh no, the bomb glove was. They they require the same amount of gold bolts, but the bolt is different. I th the bomb glove was about 20,000. Um, yeah, there's the uh, gold Porosider. Sorry about that, I had to uh, mute the mic for a second. There, and the, the, the rest are like, uh, 80,000, 20,000, yeah. These last three are 10,000. <sighs> okay, back at the uh, gold uh, weapons place. All right now, the uh, gold mine glove. See what it looks like when we throw it. Uh, we probably have to uh, get an enemy to it. I'll, I'll do that off screen. I'll do, I'll, I'll do that in a minute. Uh, gold blaster, twenty thousand and four gold bolts. Oh my god! It bounces off walls and shit. Uh, gold morph array, twenty thousand and four bolts. I don't think this is different, it's just the, uh, it's, it's a lot, uh, far, like, faster at turning them. Uh, Gulf of Doom, 10,000, and four bolts. Damn, they're huge! Okay. Decoy glove, 10,000, and four bolts. Oh my god, that's horrifying! Holy shit! Alright, the last weapon. 
Gold Suck Cannon and 10,000 Volts. Yeah, hold every, yep. Go weapon at once. Okay, the uh, thing didn't work. Alright, that's. Oh, yeah, I forgot to show you. Hold it down. There are cons of gold, like uh, a gold color now. Alright, I'm going to um go down here and oh yeah, I I forgot to show the uh, metal detector. Um. This is how you do it. Just follow the uh, the circle thing. The, the this thing just got, goes in the direction where it a uh, it got bolts in here, and when you get closer, it goes red off. And that's how you do it. Um. Okay. Uh. Finish this area off with the metal detector, and then I will uh, find an enemy to um, show off the uh, mind glove. See how, see how that is. I'll go back to the uh, first planet. Um, I'm quite curious if the uh, gold weapon room is the exact same. Because the, the room is different, but I don't know if the... I can't exactly remember if the weapons were different. You know, let's just, and, I'll, and I'll show the uh, mind glove. Because all the uh, enemies would have respawned. Yeah, exact same weapons, but the room is different. Uh, okay. Um, weapons. Oh, that they, those icons look amazing. Uh, mine glove. Okay, it's not much different. It does the same kind of thing. It, it, the mind did, didn't seem to grow. So, uh, okay, what I'm gonna do is uh, beat um, Drek again, and the go to the completed screen. You can see all, everything, and then I will uh, show the goodies um, screen. Hang on, are, are they all? Yeah, they're all unlocked now. Oh, I, may, I may as well do it now. Uh, I've got to show these uh, items. Um, the, the hoverboard, you're looking at the Z3000 Deluxe Hoverboard manufactured by Gadgetron. You can use it in races held throughout the galaxy. The hoverboard automatically equips as soon as you step into an official Gadgetron hover track. When racing, press X to jump. You can perform tricks by jumping and pressing combinations of R1, R2, L1, and L2. Try using left stick to spin while in the air as well. Find a zoomerator and convert those tricks into turbo. And yeah, it just shows um, how many uh, gold bolts you have and how many are um, remaining and all the ones that you used. Uh, Persuader. The Persuader is a black market device outlawed on most planets and for good reason. It uses illegal technology to warp mines. We at Gadgetron do not support this device since our vendors are vulnerable to its power. Once you find this device, it is equipped permanently. The Persuader is powered by rare titanium. I love how it's already a black, it's a black market device if this is the only one. In existence. <laughs> um, bolt grabber. The bolt grabber is one of Gadgetron's most popular gadgets. 
Once you own one, it is permanently attached and will attract bolts over much greater distances. Uh, Premium Nanotech. Developed by the Blog Scientists, Premium Nanotech increases your maximum health by one nanotech sphere. Ultra Nanotech uh, represents the pinnacle of Blog Engineering. This incredible boost increases your maximum health by three nanotech spheres. The Mapomatic is a result of Gadgetron's ongoing efforts to map every square inch of the entire galaxy. By simply possessing it, you can see areas on your map which were previously uncharted. Cool. Uh, the Zoomerator is an attachment for the Gadgetron Z3000 Deluxe Hoverboard, which through special quantum technology converts tricks into Turbo Boost. Possessing the Zoomerator is crucial to winning some of the more difficult hoverboard races held in the ga in this galaxy. And if you need to convince anyone of your racing prowess, just show them the Zoomerator. And yeah, they say that, but there's only like two tracks in the entire game. Uh, Raritanium. As its name implies, Raritanium is rare. It's used by the Blarg for manufacturing self-destructive devices and can also be found in some black market devices. Gazetron does not support such devices. And the Cobot. Gazetron Cobots are necessary for opening Invinso vaults, which is always... There is always one Cobot for each vault, and therefore a Cobot can only be used once. Okay, that's it for all the items. Uh, help. Yeah, this is just info on like every, all the items that you get in the game. You can just pause and read it. My god, this part, this final part is going to be fucking huge. <laughs> how to glide. Oh, so the ones, the newest ones are at the top, okay. Oh, that's weird though. Usually the newest ones are on the bottom. There we go, here are the controls, moves, what the hell is that, oh my god, I didn't realise it makes that face when you do wall jumping. That's it for all the moves, weapons. Oh, I fucked up. Oh, damn it. I didn't realize the screen changes after you get the gold version. Oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I'll see if it uh, has the normal one underneath. Yeah, I'm not going to be reading this. I'm, I'm done with reading. Any social faction. If 
function. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know they used that. Oh, I've never done that before. I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> oh, so the Sarkelin was never released. And they still made a gold version of it. Gold Devastator. The Wallopar. <laughs> I love how there's just that random robot in the background. Oh, that's cool. It, it hurts enemies as well, now. Go oh, okay, that one isn't long. More foray. Okay, I think that's Do you want your grimace? Okay, I'm pretty sure that's a uh a spelling mistake. So every other time you see it, it's called the Morpho Ray, and in here it says the Morpho Ray. That's weird. Um, originally manufactured by Gadgetron as the ultimate in tactical offensive weaponry, the Rhino Ripier, a new one, is now only available from black market vendors, featuring high capacity rapid fire auto tracking missiles. This weapon was simply deemed too dangerous for civilian life. <laughs> Uh, sorry uh, that I uh, didn't show off the original weapon help th uh, screen for the guns, but I, I, yeah, it's annoying. Hydro Displacer. Oh my... Can hold up to 50,000 litres of water. Jeez, that must be a lot.
I'm just double checking if the uh, thing was done. Uh, okay. <clears throat> How they know about this if they didn't make it and there was only one um, in existence? Maybe his grandfather actually made more and sold them. Oh, uh, the hollow guys. Really should have done this earlier. This is really boring. Hydro pack is black market? How? It's not... That's weird. Okay. Now the loss of Magna Boots. Oh well. Of the device has been circulated for beta testing. Boots are oh. So they they haven't been released yet. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, okay, that's it for help. Uh, wait, what? Help desk. Oh. Um. Yeah, this, this one isn't really interesting. Alright, we'll have a look at the goodies now. Skill points. Now that, uh, yeah, we, we've already done all these.
I, I love that. I love that face. Oh, so the turret. Yeah. Okay. That's Forgot how I did that one actually. Oh, that's the most. That's the second most annoying skill point in the game. The twisting marks one isn't that difficult. It's the friggin' timed one that's the hardest for me. There we go, Going Commando. Yeah, that's the uh, title of the second game. Except for PAL regions, because <laughs> Sony thought it was too... naughty for uh, us for some reason, so they changed they changed to two names, Locked and Loaded, which was, I think, UK and Australia, and they just renamed it to Gratch and Clank 2 for other European countries. Nice. Uh, the credits, we saw that. Uh, cheats. No cheats activated. Oh, I'll, I'll do that as a its own video. I'll look up all the cheats and then toggle them. And then put put them all in and we'll show you the screen. Cinematics with some of the... Oh, yeah. yeah this is all the movies in the game. Uh, in level Bryce. movies, Bryce. sketchbook. Um, this one is getting all the skill points. And I think this one's for beating the game. This one is all the skill points, and these two are getting all the uh, gold weapons. Uh, okay, we'll do the epilogue. See what happened after Drek's defeat. I oh, know, I've got this sketchbook of all the like early concept art for all the characters. I, I really enjoy that um, when developers do this. And it's Ratchet and his Clank. Uh, Clank has some uh, a long description. I'll see if Ratchet has a long description. No, it doesn't. Alright. Huh. Um. Oh, Battaglia. Oh, it's all changed a lot. Yeah, it's going to be a while, so I think I'm going to um, do all this stuff in a separate part. I'm getting all the uh, collect final collectibles like the rhino and everything in its own video because yeah this is the other part will just be way too long I think Quatu. Oh, Planet Gaspar. Oh, the bottom one is production design for Blackwater City.
Someone the factory. Can you guess which one? Huh? Hanging power source for one of our factory. I actually have no idea which one this would be. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Oh, that's where. Oh, that's. I. That makes a lot of sense. One of the very first levels we prototyped was Metropolis on Planet Kerwin. Oh. Oh, World War Two Battlefield. Well, Corks. Oh, Blackwater City. Corks trailer. I love that one smiling. Oh, cool. for the blog fire to the rest oh that's cool oh I think they reused that for a uh, wretched and clank 2 I'm pretty sure the mercenary, whatever his name was, I can't exactly remember, that was hired by one of the bad guys. He had a vehicle like that, I think. The 
Offensive Drone Glove. Oh, okay, an, an early name. We changed the way defense. Ah. Oh. So that might be the Glove of Doom's original name. Well, that would have been really cool to have those massive guns. Uh, one of the enemy designs. I definitely did not see that worm kind of thing. Oh, one made only one made it into the game. Oh, I actually don't know. Definitely not the top one. Definitely not the worm. Don't remember the guy with the wheels. I'm going to say the bottom left. Uh, I'm probably wrong, but yeah, I'm going to guess bottom left. Oh, at, at early L designs. This is a big L. This was what most people think game developers would <laughs> look like. Oh, he really changed. Oh, the wrench. Who calls it an axe? I never heard that. Designs for the Vizzy Bomb Gun and Suck Cannon. Oh, these are really. Doesn't have, the Vizzy Bomb doesn't have that little scope thing that Ratchet can look through. My god, 35 minutes for all this. Jesus. Uh, hydro pack, glove of doom, bomb glove. Another early version of Ratchet. Oh, that's, that's a cool poster. Oh, that would have been a cool cover. It would have been way better than the one we got. Even the one in the Mer and the better than the one in the Mer America got too. Oh, this is the one America got. Okay, yeah, done. Alright, the epilogue. Ratchet, the furry mechanic who crafted a panic. <laughs> yeah, these are just uh, magazine covers. See what happened with uh, er all the characters. Were washed up, I'll do anything for a few bolts. <laughs> Get a photos inside. Robot caught in the act. Ratchet's love interest, shocking news about Drek. The race was fixed. The truth is Skid hooked on Nano. Ha <laughs> ha! Think he could handle the Rhino? Interview victims of the, oh, all the people that I attacked with the Rhino. <laughs> Popular plumbers. <laughs> I saved the galaxy from an evil mutated strain of dry rot. I kid you not. Tips to fixing derelict turrets. Will plumbing ever be the same? The water worker asks the same question every day. Oh, he got robot of the year. Are you serious? Oh my god! An amoeboy ate her and now she's in love. 
Oh my god, I completely forgot about this. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Rhino Salesman pleads not guilty. Novellus native claims his brother turned into a chicken. <laughs> Lone Commander wins war. Or oh, so he asks. Yeah, I mean, we won the war for him. Uh, hoverboarder. The best way to a man's heart is through his ribcage. Oh. How Skid gets his extra altitude. Number. Oh, Bank Caesar's Quark Estate auction begins now. Huh. Oh my... Oh, that's a number. I thought that was how many bolts it's what it's gonna cost. Ratchet and Clank, the most... Oh, that would've been so cool if that was a thing back then. <laughs> oh my god. And there we go, that's the epilogue. Now the making of video. Alright, I'll mute my mic while you, we enjoy this. Prepare to be transported to a brilliant sci-fi universe filled with imaginative characters high-tech weapons and gadgets, and unprecedented action-packed shooting adventure. Welcome to the brave new world of Ratchet and Clank. When we started talking about the ideas behind Ratchet and Clank, this character that rockets from planet to planet with weapons and gadgets, well, weapons suddenly jump to the foreground. Ratchet lives on a backwater planet out in the edges of the galaxy. He's a tinkerer, loves to put things together and take them apart to see how they work, very curious. He's got this really strong thirst for adventure. And lucky for him, he gets to meet Clank, which allows him to travel to new worlds. And Ratchet and Clank meet each other, but they don't necessarily get along. Ratchet just wants to go out and blow stuff up and have a good time, and, and Clank is much more serious about accomplishing his goals. Showcasing an impressive arsenal of state-of-the-art and radical weapons and gadgets, Ratchet and Clank delivers the future of entertainment here and now. When you get weapons in this game, there's such immediate gratification. You can go out and blow the crap out of everything. With the gadgets, we wanted to make sure that there was a lot of different options for the player when they're playing to kind of explore a lot of different ways to kind of cause some havoc and, and, and destruction. There's the Tesla Claw, which uh, shoots a bolt of electricity out, which actually picks characters up and throws them in air and they explode. You've got the Suck Cannon, which allows you to suck characters in and hold them and fire them back out. The uh, Rhino is an acronym for a rip you a new one and you just stand back, fire that thing, and it destroys anything in its way. I love the Pyrocitor. Not sure what that says about me. One of the most unique weapons we have is the Visibomb. It's awfully fun to cruise around the level from the bird's eye view and then target an enemy on the ground and just blow them up. We were really surprised how quickly Ratchet came together. Ratchet started as this really small, scrappy cat type thing. Then kind of a much taller dog-like creature. And what I ended up doing was actually taking these two forms and putting them together. And that's pretty much how we ended up with them. As artists, we've set a really high standard for what we want to achieve in this game. But it, it feels really good to know that programmers, the designers, everybody has set equally high standards. Everybody who comes on board here is excellent at what they do and have really high expectations of delivering excellence. When someone plays an Insomniac game, they, they can see anywhere they look in the game, there's an attention to detail, quality, as well as technical performance that, that is never lacking. Developed by Insomniac Games, Ratchet & Clank is the development team's first entertainment venture for the PlayStation 2.
We knew we had to come up with something that was going to raise the bar even farther than Spyro had as far as action platformers went. And that's where Ratchet and Clank came from. We're actually expanding the genre. We're trying to break out of what people typically consider the action platformer or character action game genre. One of the big differences between Spyro and Ratchet is being able to animate this stuff on the PS2. In the single level of this game, it's probably more art than was in an entire game in one of our PS1 releases. Every single level of the game, we bring forth something new for the player to do. By the fifth or sixth level of this game, we are up to the complexity of the strongest titles in the category. And there's a lot of levels in this game. It's a very deep machine. We've written immense amounts of code and assembly language, probably more than 100,000 lines, compared to what we did on the PS1. You know, more by a factor of 10. We can have very rich, detailed environments. We can have lots of enemies attacking you at once. Um, with their different behaviors. Um, the AI has become more complex. With the faster processor speeds, we can have um, many ships and planes and vehicles just traveling through to breathe life into the environment. So there's loads and loads of stuff wherever you look. There's detail, there's movement, explosions. It's a busy world. We're not just creating these environments and expecting them to sit there and expecting people to say, wow, your polygons are so pretty. The point is, it's alive, and there's a lot going on. It's not a static universe. It's an interactive universe, and you interact with it. This game has a lot of great things, art, technology, design, power from the PlayStation 2, but, but the best part of it is you get to blow shit up. <laughs> with a team of talented designers, programmers, artists, and animators. Insomniac Games raises the bar and delivers another captivating game only for the PlayStation 2. When I tell people about what I do for a living, like, that's not work, it's fun. The Insomniacs don't, don't take themselves too seriously, and people love to come to work and, and, and just have a good time, and I think that really is shown in our characters. <laughs> look, plumber's crack. What, what did you just say? I said, look, the plumber's back. All right, wise guy. We, as a company, are committed to giving our games a lot of humor. We use a little bit more sarcasm, and the humor's a little bit more biting. <laughs> With an immense arsenal of gadgets and weapons, innovative gameplay mechanics, an evolving economic system, unparalleled technology, and vibrantly detailed graphics, Ratchet & Clank is a galaxy-stomping, adrenaline-soaked masterpiece. We've gone out of our way to make this thing the largest, loudest, most active world we could possibly think of. What Insomniac has done with this game blows my mind every time I see it. Like I just sit in awe and stare at the at the visual material and just the all-encompassing feel that this game offers. There are a lot of things that the players have to do, a lot of things that players have to keep in mind, but when it comes down to it, it's really just about blowing shit up. Blow up a lot of shit. Blow up. Blowing shit up. Ratchet and Clank, coming to a galaxy near you. Oh, I love when they do that kind of stuff. It is that is amazing. Uh, now all the commercials, the hilarious television commercials for Ratchet and Clank. <laughs> Decoy glove ad, Devastator ad, and Morph Array ad. Okay, Morph. Okay, whatever. They changed the name again. Uh, okay, we'll uh, show all these. That is Corey. He's helping us with our inflatable decoy test for Ratchet and Clank. Corey! Oh, man. The inflatable decoy. One of 36 weapons and gadgets not fit for this world. Ready to for team. Oh my god, that oh, that poor kid's mother. Oh my 
Oh. Oh, that is fucking hilarious. Uh, all right, we're going to do the Devastator. Okay, Pete here is going to try to hit hold on, that target with the Devastator, a rocket launcher designed for Ratchet and Clank. Oh, man! <laughs> oh. The Devastator, one of 36 weapons and gadgets not fit for this world. Rated T for T. Oh wow, well, that was amazing. Did the Morpho raise even better? That is the Morpho Ray, and that, of course, is Jerry. Uh, the Morpho Ray is used in Ratchet and Clank to turn your enemies into chickens. No, no, wait, before you do that, just explain to me how it's gonna work. <laughs> oh, 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 it worked. <laughs> Jerry's a chicken. <laughs> Are you sure we can turn him back? <laughs> the Morphere, one of 36 weapons and gadgets not fit for this world. Rated T for T. <laughs> oh my god, these were amazing. Alright, um, I'm gonna stop recording and go and then get back to the final screen after uh, Beach Ham and Drek again. Okay, here we go. The final part of the game. Now we're gonna set this off and kill Drek for the third time. Skip those. Skip that. Yep, there we go. 100% done. I'm very impressed. You beat Drek again. If you choose to start another new game, I will create another new save game for you. Okay, so it's not any different, it's just the ch check mark thing. So, I'm what I'm gonna do is good. just time warp before defeating Drek. There we go. Okay, hope you enjoyed, and next I'll start a Ratchet and Clank going commando. See ya.